first of all, fellas, what I have to say was I was robbed. I was robbed. Experiences are always better if you're on the winning side. So it was a great experience. I mean, to win was amazing. And that's all down to Haley, of course, the chef. The actual whole of the county, you know, it, it's like a giant larder. When you see some of the things that are available, you know, within the market, you know, it, 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 you're spoiled for choice. Yeah, what we've done was we had our £15. We went round the <laughs> stall, obviously, to try and choose stuff that was on at the farmer's market. Uh, all the time thinking about what I could do within the time frames. What have I learned? It's really quick and easy. Well, easy, yeah. It's easier than I thought to cook three courses in, what was it, 30, 35 minutes we did it in or something? Really good. Do you know, it was quite daunting. I don't cook. And to get me up to be your partner, I mean, what a shame. I was really her handicap. But it's it's so fast and full on, you know, it's, it's happening all the time. OK, well, what we made today, we made um, the, the actual main dish was the grouse. Uh, I wanted to do some game dishes because grouse is just in season a few weeks ago and it's one of those things that people might shy away from. It was lovely to be doing a grouse dish and to learn, you know, a, a different way of doing it. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was all over in a flash though. So we served the grouse with a nice uh, bramble um, like sauce, a bit like a crossbody a compote and a sauce. We reduced down some can and more bramble wine, you know, boozed it up a little bit. Pancetta crisps using our puddle dub pork streaky bacon. And then we made like a cross between a fricassee and a French style pea using uh, the fresh broad beans from uh, one of the ladies on the stalls. We had some Swiss chard, and we chucked some more bacon lardons in there, and then we had some lovely courgettes from Leone. We got them for free, but don't tell George, otherwise they'll be moaning. To kind of offset it a little bit, because it's quite a rich dish, we made an earthy root vegetable slaw using beetroot and carrot and um, celeriac. A little bit of mint, which I've not even paid for yet. Again, that's Mo's fault. Um, it was really busy on the stall, so we borrowed the mint and we'll give it back what we've not used. So a bit of apple mint in there, white wine vinegar, just to spruce it up a little bit, a bit of salt and pepper, and that's a really nice kind of hearty main dish. We brought the famous Arbro Smoky, we put together a dish which is all classic East Coaster, quick and easy smoky pot. Actually, I've got a dinner party tonight when I go home and I'm going to do the starter, which was the, uh, the smoky with the bacon and the cheese and the cream, lots of calories, and I'll do the cranican, uh, which was just dead simple pouring the whiskey in with the cream and the caster sugar absolutely brilliant really loved the experience and i had, I, had a, I worked with a great chef as well we've put together uh, all local cock scallops mussels monkfish uh, and salmon we've done it in a kind of stew uh, bouillon base or mediterranean stew which was lovely with some rustic fresh bread uh, bought here as well uh, you could white and scrape the plate with the peasant style again. Um, and then for pudding, this was our piece de resistance. This is what was going to get us, you know, the votes for, for winning. Um, Mexican churros. So I'd been to a hacker a few weeks ago, that's what I was saying to everybody, and uh, I saw someone on the table next to me. What's that? I wondered what it was. Got some myself, tasted it, fell in love with it. So easy to do, little churros, piped them into the deep fat fryer, rolled them in cinnamon sugar, and we served it with some fair trade chocolate nut type dips. Are we ready? The moment of truth. Can we have the boats, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and I declare the winner, Haley. There's too much uh, green. Uh, Haley, uh, Haley and Mo, uh, I think that's what really won us the votes, to be honest. There was the chocolate. It's about from the heart. The chefs cook from the heart, the producers are the Zans, they produce from the heart. And beautiful produce local in a beautiful area. What more can I say? Food is fun.